back and forth, back and forth. Up and down. Saying, yeah, the tempo is a whole lot faster. Right. A whole lot faster. Right. You gotta focus a lot more too on that on that shot. Yeah. So you gotta focus a whole lot. Even on the layups, you gotta focus. <laughs> you know, so, you know, so used to you wear Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Use the you yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you sit to that backboard, you know what I'm saying? You know? But I, I believe it's you know what I'm saying, it's making us better players and better shooters, to be honest. Word. Welcome to the Basketball to Remix Podcast. I am Mark Armstrong, a.k.a. Coach 1891. The Basketball to Remix Podcast is all about the innovation of the game of basketball. This idea is caught in the term remix. We talk about the most important innovations in the history of the game, the impact of modern innovations, and what technologies on the horizon that might impact basketball in the future. We guarantee to bring value to your time and innovation for your mind. You may ask, what is Basketball to Remix? Basketball to Remix is exactly what the name applies. The game of basketball remixed with other stuff to create a new and challenging and exciting modern version of the game of basketball. This is episode 18 of the Basketball to Remix podcast and part 8 of a 10-part series answering the question, what is Basketball to Remix? And over this series, I've been answering that question and much, much more. The whole concept is very innovative and um, interesting and uh, very fast paced. So I really do like it. I think um, it brings a totally new approach to basketball. Basketball to Remix introduces 15 innovations to the way modern basketball is played. What did I say? I said 15 innovations to the way modern basketballs play. So Basketball to Remix is similar enough to traditional basketball that every basketball player on the planet has the basic skill set and experience to play Basketball to Remix today. While Basketball to Remix introduces 15 innovations that makes the Remix so different that Basketball to Remix is a totally different game. Again, Basketball to Remix is a totally different game. That was good, you know, competition is perfect. But my name, no, this game is perfect. That's just way better than, you know, you know regular basketball. Well, I, thought, I think that would be a lot different because, you know, the fact that we're not having a backboard, it changes the game completely. It changes a whole, totally different game with no backboard. Today's innovation is the rule we call roaming, a concept taken directly from the game of soccer. For those of you who are not soccer fans, but find yourself occasionally watching a soccer game, have you ever noticed that soccer players can handle the ball and keep play alive while the player themselves are positioned outside or off the playing area? In traditional basketball, it is the position of the player who has possession of the ball, not the ball that determines if play stays live or if there is a turnover due to stepping out of bounds. All basketball fans have witnessed a basketball player creating a turnover near the sideline, take possession of the ball, and to begin to quickly advance the ball up the court. You immediately see the potential for a fast break and the opportunity to witness the next viral highlight clip in person. But that excitement is immediately quenched because the player stepped on the sideline. Turnover. In traditional basketball, coaches teach that the sideline and baseline are additional defenders and should be used to pin offensive players and limit their movement. So when you really think about it, the gameplay of basketball, the sideline, similar to the backboard, imposes unnecessary influence on gameplay, game flow, and at times the outcome of the game. In developing Basketball to Remix, I attempted to remove all barriers that prevent consistent and sustained gameplay with minimal unnecessary stoppage. The innovation of roaming makes the placement of the ball, not the player, to determine a dead ball or live ball. So, when playing Basketball to Remix, a player with possession of the ball can place themselves off the court 
and keep the ball alive as long as the ball does not bounce completely outside of the court. Yes, the ball can bounce on the sideline or baseline and remain live. The ball has to bounce completely off the court for a dip ball to be declared. And here's the kicker. The defense has to keep both feet inside of the court and off the court line. So now let's go back to our example of a player creating a turnover and starts to advance the ball up the court. No longer is the baller running the tightrope required to keep the ball live and stay in play. In basketball, the remix, the baller can actually get solid footing to explode down the court instead of wasting the first several steps attempting to stay in bounds, which results in continuation of the action. Or what about a trap in the corners? In basketball, the remix, the ball handler now can use the extra space off the court to attempt to maneuver themselves and manipulate the ball to, accept, to escape the trap. Let's take a moment and imagine Kyrie Irving being trapped in the corner, but playing with Basketball to Remix roaming innovation and using his exceptional ball handling skills and creativity to escape the trap. Can you see it? I know I can, and it's very exciting. Every aspect of basketball, okay. of the normal basketball game. Well, uh, this game, man, it, it, it's a trendsetter, you know? Okay, it's a trendsetter. It really okay. is. We'll take it, the, the basketball game to a whole nother level. Okay. All right, I think it's really going to pick up, especially yeah. in the hood. Okay. The introduction of roaming, like removing the backboard, removes another barrier that frequently imposes an unnecessary influence on gameplay while locking up or limiting the evolution and demonstration of higher basketball skills. Roman is another innovation that supports the claim that Basketball to Remix is a totally different game of basketball that presents new and dynamic challenges to the skill set of the modern basketball player. This is exciting enough for me to come home and turn on the tools and, and, and watch it and enjoy it, you know. The concept, this is going back to basics. If you can play this game and play it well, then you are just you are good enough to play and do better in the actual modern basketball. So that's the that's that's the good thing about it. Hey, thank you for listening to the Basketball to Remix podcast. I want to let you know about some cool no backboard t-shirts at nobackboard.myshopify.com. In addition to really cool and colorful designs around the no backboard concept, the t-shirts are a great value. These tri blend t-shirts with eye-catching designs for only $20. With, back, with the no backboard t-shirts new to the market, check out nobackboard.myshopify.com and find a design you like and be the first in your crew, in your neighborhood, on your block, at the gym to be rocking our gear. And in the process, you'll be supporting our effort to bring a Basketball to Remix League to your Basketball to Remix! And remember, you know the drill. Please, please, please help me share the word about bas the Basketball to Remix podcast in the next few episodes. Like and share. And again, check out some really cool t-shirts at nobackport.myshopify.com. Until next time, this is Mark Armstrong, a.k.a. Coach1891. Be blessed, and I will see you at the top. No, it's good, you know, competition is perfect. That's my name, no, this game is perfect. It's way better than no, no regular basketball. Basketball Remix!